for our young people and for our job seekers, we have been trying to do two things. One is on the part of government, providing strong support for our economy with a particular focus on jobs, jobs, jobs. So in the uh, four, in fact, five uh, budget measures that I've announced, the key focus is on jobs, on helping companies to stay viable to, so that they can preserve jobs. And the job support scheme has been designed precisely for that. At the same time, uh, we also recently introduced the Jobs Growth uh, Initiative and uh, as well as the SG United Jobs and Skills Package. The SG United Jobs and Skills Package has three elements. One is to uh, encourage companies to hire, so we provide support for their hiring. The second is on traineeships, so companies which are not quite ready to hire may take in trainees and then provide them with on-the-job experience. And the third part of it is training, which our IHLs and our training institutes can uh, provide. And in particular for Singapore, we must write on this, build on what we have done over the years in R&D, in innovation and enterprise work, to expand this. And I hope that many young people will consider uh, this as uh, one option. Uh, first, we will not fully uh, be able to tell what a post-COVID world will look like. But the, a post-COVID world is likely to place a greater emphasis on resilience, place greater emphasis on digitalization, as well as uh, greater emphasis on a degree of uh, uh, sort of innovation. So innovation Digitalization, resilience uh, will be key themes. But at the same time, the one area which need, we need to watch very carefully is about whether the global supply chain will be fragmented, whether there will be a pushback against globalization. In the, in the five budgets that I've uh, announced so far, we, have, we are spending in one year what we would normally spend in two years. And we have committed uh, almost $100 billion in just in response to COVID, to retain jobs, to uh, help our viable businesses stay viable, to provide social support for our people. And this is a, a very, very heavy expenditure in just one year. And uh, at the same time, the, we will have to prepare for a post-COVID world where there is huge uncertainty. Uh, we do not know when COVID will be over exactly. We have a range of scenarios, but we, don't, we can't be certain as to when COVID will be over. And therefore, the, uh, we will have to watch our financial resources very carefully. A huge amount has been used, and this will take time. But at the end of it, it boils down to the values of us as a people. That do we care about our future generation? And I am deeply convinced that we must. Just as we have benefited from the care of our founding generation to have left us with these reserves to meet uncertainties like this, uh, it is our responsibility to leave something behind for our future generation. And in that way, our future generation will be more resilient. Besides the uh, financial resources, our social reserves are critical. Uh, during this pandemic, you see how Singaporeans have uh, stood up to support other Singaporeans. There are so many heartwarming, inspiring stories. And we must continue to build that sort of society. Because if we as a member of society expect that only certain groups of people are paid as if we do this and will not uh, help, then I think we will be in trouble and uh, no amount of uh, financial resources, no amount of government help would help us overcome this pandemic. But if we as a society care for one another, come together and support one another, then I think we can go through this crisis and at the same time think about what we must do for our future generation. I've been Education Minister for five years and I know that the 
students who need the most support are those who come from a low income group and i'm very very happy that you know moe continue to remain open schools remain open our students continue to go to school but they we provide home based learning support for those who need it and uh, i must commend our teachers and principals for responding to this uh, so well in that their heart is always with the students and how we can help them to learn and to stay safe even during this covid period so those are uh, very good qualities of singaporeans and of our singapore society which we must build on